problem 4.10 in this problem it is given that two vertical forces are applied to a beam of cross section shown in figure so determine the maximum tensile and compressive stress in portion bc of the beam so this is the cross section of the beam you can see the width its total height the thickness of uh, this flange uh, web this is the web 1 inch and thickness of flange is also 1 inch and this is the load that is given on this uh, beam the le total length of beam is also given so let's start with the solution of this problem so as you know we have to find the stress maximum stress tensile stress and compressive stress we have to find this so we will start with its solution again if as you know that stress then uh, bending stress is given as m y divided by i and there is a negative sign as well so we have to find moment we have to find y and we have to find the moment of inertia for this beam so for finding the moment of inertia we know that we need the uh, centroid of this beam clear so first of all we have to find the centroid of this beam and the cross section is shown in figure so if you see this beam so if i divide it into part this is the part first this is the part 2 this is 3 so i have to treat them treat them separately so again just like problem 4.9 uh, 4.9 we will solve the same problem so let me draw the table for this this is for first this is for second and this is for third and we have to find area sorry uh, why not area why not or why not and the product of area into why not so if you if you see this part 1 so the area of this will be 8 multiplied by 1 so its area will be 8 square inch similarly if you see the mid of this so mid of this and this is the baseline so from baseline till the mid of part first the total distance is 6 7 and 7.5 so the this distance is represented as y not 1 so this is 7.5 so i will write it 7.5 again for part 2 you can see this is the part 2 so its area will be 1 multiplied by 6 so its area will be 6 in square and the y not 2 is this distance from the base till this so this will be equal to from this to this it is 3 and this is 1 so that is 4 inch distance so the y not 2 this is y not 2 so this distance is 4 and for part 3 you can see its thickness is 1 inch so this is this distance is y not 3 and that is equal to 0.5 inch and its area will be 1 into 4 so its area will be 4 and y not 3 is 0.5 so again if you multiply 8 with 7.5 so you will get 60 here the, you will get 24 and here you will get 2 now i will need this area total sum of area this sum of area will be equal to 8 or 6 14 and 18 so the sum of area total area is 18 while the sum of the product of area into y not that is equal to 60 24 84 85 86 so that is 86 now we have this value and this value for finding the centroid of this beam where it is located so i have the y not 
will be equal to this is the formula for finding the centroid divided by sum of area so again if you put the value 86 by 18 so you will get the centroid the value of centroid from the baseline that is 4.778 inch so what does it mean it means that your centroid if, if i show it here it means that if this is the baseline so your centroid will be 4. Point, your centroid will be this distance is why, why not so this is 4.778 inch and the remaining one will be so if you subtract total length is 8 inch and you subtract it from 8 so you will get this distance as 3.222 inch something clear so this is your centroid portion c now uh, we have centroid so your neutral axis will pass through centroid it means this is the centroidal axis now we will find the total moment inertia of this beam so again we will find the first okay so total moment of inertia will be equal to the moment of inertia of first part plus second part plus third part which is shown above so i will first find i1 so i1 is equal to 1 over 12 bh cube bh cube plus a d square now you can see that this i1 is equal to 1 over 12 what is the bread which this is 8 so this is 8 and what is the height of this so again if you can see that total height is uh, 1 this is height this is its breadth 8 and this is its height 1. So 8 into 1 cube plus area will be 8 into 1. So it will be 8 and D is D. Now what is D? D is the distance from centroid to the midpoint of the part first. So this distance is actually D. So we will see what is the value of D. So if you uh, subtract 0.5 because this distance is 0.5 so if you subtract 0.5 from 3.22 so you will get this distance and this distance comes out to be 2.772 so i will write the value of d 2.772 whole square so when you calculate this so i1 will be equal to 59.94 59.94 inch power, inch power 4 so this is your i1 now for i2 i2 will be equal to 1 over 12 bh cube plus ad square same formula now we will see i2 is equal to 1 over 12 what is the width of b so its width is 1 inch so it is 1 and what is total height that is 6 inch so you can see here you can see this is total 6 inch so 1 into 6 cube plus area will be 6 because 6 into 1 is 6 now as uh, the this is uh, this is a second portion and centroidal is axis is passing through this point and the mid portion of this second is in 3 clear so so from this point this is 3 distance and this is above this so this will be the d for second part and this will be equal to 3 minus 4.77 minus 3 clear so that will be equal to 0. 778 778 clear so 
सिक्स इंटू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सेवन एट होल स्क्वेयर दैट विल गिव यू द वैल्यू इफ यू कैलकुलेट दैट विल गिव यू द वैल्यू ऑफ आई टू सो आई टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी इंच फोर सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई टू नाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई थ्री सो आई थ्री विल बी द सेम फार्मूला वन ओवर ट्वेल्व बी एच क्यू प्लस ए डी स्क्वेयर सो वन ओवर ट्वेल्व बी इज इट्स फोर इंच सो इट इज फोर and height is 1 inch cube so this is its width and this is its height this is the part 3 clear plus area is 4 and now what is d so this from center to this point to the mid of this point this is d3 or d so this d will be equal to 4.77 minus this 0.5 which give you 4. 278 4.278 inch so that will be 4.278 square so if you calculate this so i3 will be 73.54 inch 4 this is i3 now for finding the total inertia of the bow cross section you have to sum all this so i will be equal to I one, which is equal to fifty nine point nine four, plus I two, which is twenty one point six three, plus I three, which is seventy three point five four. If you sum all this, you will get the total inertia of the above beam that is equal to one fifty five point one six inch four. so we have find i again if i write the same the formula over here just for remembering that it is equal to minus m i divided by y so we have up till now we calculated i so we will now move toward this distance y for top as well as bottom so you can see that if you find the stress for the top so y top is given i will just write it y top that is distance from side centroid till the top portion this distance this is 3.22 so y, y top distance is 3.22 and y bottom for maximum tensile stress so that will be equal to 4. Seven seven, and it is the distance between centroid till the lowermost layer. And you can see that this is the value four point seven seven. So now you have this value. You, you do not have m, so you will calculate m. How you will calculate? So in a bow, if you look at a bow figure, the beam with loaded with loading this. if you see this figure this this figure this figure so we have to draw the free body diagram for uh, finding the value of m so if this is the beam with load so and again if this is the reaction at point p and this is this was the load at point at a distance of point a so if you want to have the cross set uh, if you cut it so you have to give the moment so we will take the moment about point p so that will be equal to m that because it is it is positive because it is counter clockwise minus p into a because it is all these forces this p and this this also produce couple in clockwise direction so the sum of all moment must be equal to 0 so you have to put the value so m will be equal to p into a now what is the value of p and a so we will go to the above figure and we will find 
the value of P. So P is 25 kips and A is 20 inch. So you have to put the value again here. So P was 25 kips and the distance A is 20 inch. So if you multiply it, you will get 500 kips into inch. So this is the moment. Now the quest, the answer will become very easy. So you have to use this formula stress for finding the top stresses that will be in compression. So as we know that it is minus m. Sorry, I have right or wrong. This is m y divided by i, not m i divided. So this is m y divide by i so for top it, it will be top clear and the same so minus 500 y top is 3.22 divide by i is 155.16 so if you calculate the top maximum stress at the top so it will come out minus 10.38 ksi minus sign shows that top is in compression now we will move to the for finding the maximum stress at bottom so it is again equal to minus m into y bottom divided by i so put the value it is minus 500 as the y distance is below the centroidal axis so that is minus 4.77 divided by 155.16. So if you calculate your y bottom stress at bottom will be equal to 15.40 ksi. The positive sign shows that the lower portion of the beam is in tension. So this was all the about problem 4.10. So you can see that the upper portion of BC, so this is the upper portion that will be under compression and the lower portion will be in tension. So it will look like this a curve type here. So the upper concave portion is in compression while lower portion is in tension. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any question, you can ask in comment section.